So we're here tucked away in a corner of Lady So-and-So's at Henley-on-Thames and in the foyer there is a wonderful exhibition from a work by the Fine Cell Group and one of the quilts was commissioned by your good self Tracy. Thank you for joining yes, us. Pleasure. So tell me a bit about the quilt. It's called the Sleep Quilt. The I think. Sleep Quilt. Yes, I commissioned it to be part of a quilt show that I curated a couple of years ago for um, a, a, a manor house in Bexley Heath in Kent. And um, the the theme of the show was called it was called Things We Do in Bed. And there were five bedrooms, each had a different theme of things that we do in bed. So one was a birth room, there was the sex room, the illness room, death, and sleep room. And there were all kinds of, we had a Grace and Perry quilt, we had 19th century American widow's quilt, had all sorts of lovely things. And what we did for the sleep room, I commissioned fine cell work to make a quilt asking prisoners, uh, they got a, I think a 10 inch by 10 inch square that they could decorate in any way they liked, uh, showing their feelings about the subject of sleep. And this is all done in, in needlework and uh, embroidery, some embroidery and, and some and things, patchwork and yeah. yes. And um, we did it and we asked them to use blue and white just to give it some sort of uh, a cohesion. cohesion. Um, and I think there were 63 prisoners from various different prisons okay. um, all did this. Took At part. first I think they were a little baffled, like what do I do? You know, mm. If I said to you, yeah. what do you do, what do you, but they soon um, took it up with gusto right and the results are really spectacular. It, it, is, it is an amazing group quilt. It say. is. I mean, some of the some of the squares are funny. It's about counting sheep. It's about dreams. Um, others are really poignant because what I discovered, I thought that the, the, the subject of sleep would be something very simple and, and non-contentious for prisoners to, to think about. But actually, sleep is a very difficult thing in prison because, uh, for one thing, you're in a very small cell. It's often mm. very hot or cold because there's not much not much ventilation, you're sharing the room with somebody maybe you don't know or don't like. It's a very narrow bed. Um, and also you've been scheduled all day and then suddenly you're lying there and you have time to think about what might have gone wrong in your life, the past, the fact that you're locked up. It all comes down on top of the guys. Mostly it was men who, who responded, though a couple of women. and. It was very, really poignant to see this. There are a lot of tears in the squares, not just humor, but a lot of actual feeling of guilt and remorse and dreaming of escape and of, of getting out and worries about family. It all came out in it. Some of the volunteers from Fine Cell Work who worked with the men and women to, to help them design the, the squares were really moved by it and said some of, the, some of it, what came out was really cathartic for a lot of, a lot of the prisoners. And so we brought the squares together. They put them, the, the guys all laid them out on the floor, put them together, and then one man and a prisoner in um, Brixton Prison uh, did all of the, did, did quilting the quilting by hand in six weeks, really fast, very he spent good. Several hours a day doing yes. it. Yes, well, in between deadline. pumping iron. Oh, right. Uh, yeah, I met him. I oh, met right. him. Um, uh, he handed over. I went to Brixton Prison and handed over. The, he handed over the quilt to me, and wow. it was a really, it's a really moving. I've seen it a lot now. I, I own it, but I lend it to find cell work to use uh, to publicize what they do and. People have had a really um, strong response to it. At first, you look at it and go, "Oh, it's a quilt," and then more and more, you see the yeah, individual it. details. And we found that as we were looking at it. And the stories behind it is really moving. Definitely. Well, the quilting's been part of my life for many years, but you're quite a newcomer to it. Yeah, but, I'm a baby. But you're saying that it's it's beginning to to trickle into lots of yeah. different corners. Well, I I learned how to quilt because um, last book, the book since uh, a couple of books ago. I was researching a book, a novel set in 19th century Ohio, and my main character is a quilter. And I thought, if I'm going to write about somebody who quilts, I need to learn to do it myself so that it's, I'm more accurate about what I write. And, uh, and I, um, I found that I kind of liked it. And I <coughs> continue to do it. I think it's partly because my brain is full of words all day from writing. Mm. And, um, and it's really fantastic to do something that is nothing to do with that. It's completely visual. There's a gut feeling of, of that's nonverbal that I like about it. It's also very calming. Yes, it is. I'm not really a very calm person, but when I quilt, I am, because you can't quilt 
when you're angry no. or upset. You have to, or it calms you down. Yes, it does. Um, I only quilt by hand because I don't know how to use a sewing machine. So it's all hand on. Very rhythmic yeah. too. Yeah, it's very it rhythmic, hand. and I sit just and just absorbing. do it, relax. My cat comes and sits on my knee, and um, so I've made a couple of larger quilts, and then I uh, recently have been a kind of creative partner with the the Bronte Parsonage in Haworth in Yorkshire, um, uh, helping to celebrate Charlotte Bronte's bicentenary, which is April twenty first, and um, I commissioned a um, uh, an artwork that now has a little quilt I made for it, uh, for Charlotte Bronte on it. And I also have, have um, uh, curated a quilt show. I asked Yorkshire quilters to respond to a line from Jane Eyre that says, splendid shreds of silk and satin. And these miniature quilts, there are 56 of them, came in, flooding in, and we've just put it up at the um, museum in Halifax called the Bankfield Museum. So that's up for a couple of months, April 16th to June 11th. And then going on to Festival of Quilts, so yes. people might be able to yes. see it if uh, all those visitors at Festival in August exactly. should be able to yeah. see it. Yeah, that'll be just off the quilts, uh, the, the guild stand. Super. Um, yeah. Super. Well, thank you so much for taking time to, to share your story with us, and we love your quilt. Thank, thank you very you. much, Tracy. Thank you.